Hey, I wanna share with you a really cool question I got just now on one of my videos on YouTube. It's from James Kelly, he says, Hey, Mr. Davidson, what a lovely way. Thank you for being so polite, James. I am not new to development, cool, I do this for a living. So he talks about how he knows how to do some programming and some development. And the problem, let's jump straight to the problem here. The problem with creating video games in my spare time is that I go to start working on an idea. I get quickly demotivated because I fear I'll do it all wrong and spend my valuable time refactoring code. And he talks about when I started, inheritance was all the rage and now it's his fancy component stuff. Three cheers for components. Uh, and this is all on top of the typical blank page syndrome that comes with starting a new project and so on. Do you have any advice for pushing past this mental roadblock? How can I keep myself motivated? Here's the best thing you can do. Rather than thinking of this is I'm going to start by making a game. Because games are big, right? They have the menus, they have the start, you know, they have all the rules and all the the um, the programming that goes into it and artwork and then how what happens when the player dies and restarting and spawn points and enemies. Like once you get into that, you're like, ah, this is gonna be huge. So rather than thinking about I'm gonna make a game, think about I'm gonna make a moment. So focus on making a moment. And the cool thing about making a moment is that it's part of the game that's the most enjoyable. So when you join all these moments together, and this is my philosophy, is games are a series of complementary moments joined together. And here's the moment of, of creating your character. And here's the moment of killing an enemy. And here's the moment of discovering the key that opens the door. And these moments joined together are, are fantastic. Start by making a moment. And it could be you're particularly interested in first person shooters. And the moment you wanna make is maybe I'll make a room and in that room I'll put in some enemies and I'll have a weapon. Uh, let me just see if I can make that fun. And I think it's very powerful to start off using an engine or a level editor or, or a map editor. Don't try to build all that infrastructure yourself. It's gonna take so much time. It's gonna take away from the most enjoyable part. For example, if you like eating chocolate, right? You're like, oh man, I love eating chocolate. I'd really love to be a professional chocolate maker. Then you don't wanna start by growing the chocolate plant. I don't even know where chocolate comes from. Chocolate beans? Uh, cocoa beans, I guess. So that's not the way to start. I, okay, so now I need to become a farmer and I better lay out my farm and plant it properly. Wait, I better go source good seeds to grow the right sort of cocoa trees. And then I need to, to buy an island where I can plant them on. So you can see when you get down to that depth of it, that's it's so much to take on. And if you're a chocolate connoisseur and you've been doing this for some time, maybe the type of tree planted in the type of soil watered a particular way and fertilized a particular way, maybe that's really, really important to you. But think more about the moment of someone, and at the start, it's just you, you or your audience at the start, is gonna pop that chocolate in their mouth and be like, mm, yum, that's a nice piece of chocolate. Not the nicest chocolate I've ever tasted. That's not what we're going for here. We're just going for, mm, that was good chocolate, thanks. Can I have some more? And so fall in love with the process of making games by making a moment quickly, uh, efficiently, cheat, get assets from the asset store. Uh, you, you just, you're getting your hands dirty, right? And the joy of, okay, I've got a character from the standard assets in Unity. Say you jump into Unity and you might be interested in car racing games. Unity comes with, or you can download the standard assets. It has the cars already set up, go make a track. Just make one track. It's gonna look ugly as shit, that's fine. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to look ugly. The car's not gonna behave perfectly, but see if you can make that car go really fast and put in some jumps. Just grab the geometry from over there, drag it over and make a couple of jumps and get your you know, your friend, your brother, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your uncle, your mum, whoever. Hey, come sit here and just give this a try. See if you can beat my time of one minute. Actually, you know what, we'll make it a minute 30 because I'm a bit of a pro at this now, I've been playing it for a while. See if you can beat a minute 30. There it is, you've made a game. And if that is enjoyable, if you derive pleasure from doing that, 
if that's a hobby that you're like, I could do this a bit more, I, I like it a lot, then you say to yourself, okay, is it a car game? Do I wanna keep making that? And then you can get deeper down into the code, deeper down into the framework, you can start asking questions of should I be using an engine? Should I, you know, should I be working in Unity? Do I wanna be creating this myself? What's the best engine to make a car racing game? You know what, I worked on a car racing game now for a few weeks, it's okay, but I, I think I'd like to shoot some stuff. I'm gonna go do that. So that's my advice to you. And if you're a developer, the temptation is going to be to, to get down into the details, like I was saying before. But the, the bark on the tree is very important. It insulates from bugs. Don't worry about that. Just have ugly ass trees that someone else has planted that you can come along and be like, hey, uh, I don't even want to pick your, your beans. Uh, apologies if anyone out there actually knows how chocolate is created. Uh, you can see that I'm not an expert in this area. Should probably use examples of things I actually know about, but that's part of me illustrating to you guys the complexities of when you start making a game. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But if you get there and if you're worried about all of those details, it's gonna be just painful at the start. Focus on how do I make the chocolate smooth and creamy so that when I go, yum, 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 it feels good. Okay, focus on moments. That's my advice for you. And you know what? Show us what you, what you come up with. Spend a week or two, just make a moment. Take a little video of it, a 20 second video, and throw it under this video here so we can all see what you got up to. And if anyone else is out there, any of you guys are out there saying, you know what, I wouldn't mind making a moment myself. Uh, make it ugly, make it not make sense, make it not fit into the rest of the game, that's totally excellent. But just make something, take a little video of it, show us so we can be like, yeah, you made a moment, now let's make another moment and another moment, and before you know it, You've got momentum and you're well on your way to the goal that you guys want, which is to be properly making the games that you're particularly passionate about, making the sort of games that you want to make. So hopefully that's useful. Lovely talking to you guys and I will see you in the next video.